als nächstes kommt eine Gangster Story. Das Lied heißt My Gun is Quick und handelt von einem Typ, der die Sause machen will, weil er überhaupt zu wenig Kohlen hat und überhaupt nur Probleme. Und ja, dann beschließen sie noch einen letzten Bruch zu machen, er und sein guter Freund Greg. Und dann passiert noch einiges. My Gun is Quick. It was one of those lousy evenings when you don't know if it's better to get up, get out of bed and switch on the TV and get some tabs to forget the bouncing hammers in your head. Or better not even to open your eyes for counting the squares on the fucking pillow. Oh, it really was a hard decision. But finally I remembered that it was gonna be bad taste night in the Salmon Lounge again. And because I had run out of money as usual, I hoped that good old Jojo would mix me some drinks for free. <laughs> And of course my friend Gregory would be there. Uh, if there was one guy in town that could manage to get some good stuff And some exciting girls, it was him. So, so this hope made me able to move towards the coffee machine. And after my five cups of coffee and the final pieces of a two week old family pizza, I even took a shower before I put on my clothes and left for the salmon lounge. Uh, but it was horrible. You know, Big Steve crossed me and. His friends reminded me of the 300 bucks I had promised him for fucking last Friday. Oh God. And then reaching the salmon, I was almost thrown out before getting in because of my bloody nose. But then there I was in the salmon lounge. And everybody was there, and the Black Brothers, and Sweet Larissa, and Big Dick Bob, and anyone, anyone was there. And of course my friend Gregory, yeah. but he was in the worst mood I can remember. The day before, his car had been stolen by a goddamn son of a cop, so he could do nothing about it. But the real bad thing was that just a few hours ago, They had kicked him out of the first good job he'd had for years and only for fucking the boss's daughter through the coffee break, oh man, oh man. Ah. So, he was running out of money too and we were sitting and drinking away Greg's last few bucks and we agreed on the point that we had no further interest in this town but to get some money and leave. Just a little job, you know. Big Dick Bob told us that General Hopkins had just left town for the funeral of his old man. So we decided to take a look at the General's house and look what was to be found. And 
stepping out of the cell. Gregory took a look at me and said, Man, my gun is quick. And I felt just like in the old times again. Okay, we opened the small car just around the corner. Grabbed just a few things from our places and drove to Hopkins Villa. On the way, we realized that this little car we were sitting in was a goddamn cocaine pack. Oh God! There were plenty of packets of cocaine hidden under the seats and in the glove compartment. Oh, and I thought that this was gonna be our night, yeah. Yeah, I thought that this was gonna be our night. Oh man, what an exciting show it was, yeah! Our visit to Hopkins Place would just be like a stroll through the city zoo! <laughs> had not even activated the alarm system. <laughs> so the boot of our car was flowing over with priceless valuables. The snow was drizzling out of our noses. Oh, Mom, said Gregory, let's do brownies. Well, who could stand in our way? We stopped in the backyard, climbed over the roof, slipped in through a tiny dormer window, kicked in the door to the stairs, and then everything went very fast. We didn't care about the alarm. We just went into the safe room, smashed the showcases, grabbed the tools, and went into the car. Yelling with excitement, we headed for the highway. But we could already hear police sirens behind us. We picked up two hitchhiking girlies who wanted to go anywhere and speeded away over the asphalt. The girls were hot. And while the radio was playing, a hot day's night, slippery lips, there is a on the back seat, but I'll never forget. Oh man, the sirens came closer in growing numbers, and in a moment I exploded. It sounded like a huge orchestra of pregnant nuts. Why don't you miss that bell? Did you 
see that soon it's 